Well, all right, it is Friday. Time for the end of the week wrap up. So let's see what we got going on today. Well, we had Bob came by and brought us some seats for his truck. A couple of Corbos. It's gonna look pretty nice in there. We uh, finished up uh, making all of the pieces for the floor pan. It started to weld them in. It's uh, coming along, it's taking shape. It's got all the front pieces bent, shaped in there. And got to be a little access holes up in here and on the other side for access to get to the airbags. Um, this truck's a little tight underneath when it, it literally dropped completely to the ground. So that kind of allows us some access from under the seats. And same with the steering box, the little access panels there. And next week we will probably finish up the roll cage um, now that we got seats and tracks and get some of that in there. Um, my plan is to do a floating, kind of a floating console, um, which will be incorporated into the roll cage. So kind of, kind of be a little different, kind of neat. So stay tuned on that, but uh, making headway just the same. And did a lot of work on the Firebird. Um, little odds and ends of uh, brake lines and things of that nature. We had a absolute nightmare with the steering column. Um, the steering column came through to us from uh, Firebird Central and uh, the way they're designed they show up without an ignition switch in it. So anybody that's messed with GM ignition switches you turn them to a certain position and slide them in they lock and you're good to go. Well this one didn't function. Uh, could not get it to return. Messed with it and messed with it and messed with it. Finally took it all apart. There was actually a chunk of steel stuck inside the gear inside. So sometimes these aftermarket parts come to you with a little bit of problems, but we were fortunate enough to have the experience to take one apart and we disassembled it and found what the problem was. But uh, some of these parts can be quite the nightmare. But uh, got some pieces ordered for it, some parts coming on it, and uh, we'll probably make a little more headway next week. Barracuda, we've got parts ordered for that. Um, this is going to get a front K member that deletes the torsion bars, which will allow us to use a uh, coilover and a tubular upper and lower control arm. So that should be pretty neat. Um, new leaf springs and so on for the back. So we're going to make some headway with that as soon as those parts come in. And David's uh, truck, we uh, did a little blocking, finished up the backs of the seat panels. The inner aprons wasn't happy with, so we got back into those, straightened those out. Um, did a couple other pieces on here, all prepped and uh, in primer. So some of that will get sanded. Those inner aprons will probably get sanded and painted next week. And uh, making headway on that as well. Now. I have a friend here on this page. His name is Carl Bright. And Carl Bright seems to think that my videos aren't long enough. So I thought that I would just take a seat back here in Carl Bright's name and kind of stare at, you know, one of his favorite things, El Camino race car. Now, Carl, this, this is John Becker's race car, but you know, I want to make sure that you got this video long enough you're happy. So I like making you happy. You're a nice guy. So uh, here we are, Carl. Let me know how I did. Let me know if I need to make it a little longer, but I'm trying. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we'll make a little headway on this probably this weekend and uh, finish up some of the Zeus fasteners in the back and uh, get the door panel done. How'd I do, Carl? Is that long enough? All right, guys. You have a good weekend, you be safe, and we'll see you next week.